How thing went today? Bad enough, boy. Not even two sprats for a man to make a good one. What you said to them, Jesus, taking a man? Your money to buy next bottle? Oh, God, it's three days now outside there. I ain't catch nothing. Your eyes and them old now. You can't see future gates. I feel if you wear glasses the next time you're going out, you will be able to catch something. He's afraid to wear glasses. So you see things you want to see. Like what? <laughs> like what? Like what? Like who does come by your house when you're going and fish all night. Shut <laughs> Boy, my wife not in them kind of thing at all. She's a good Christian woman. Does go to church every Sunday. You know why? Because she has no more feelings for you. Now that you're able no more. Oh, I'm well able. How come you're so able when I catch you buying Viagra in the drugstore the other day? Well, I'm not as able as I was a long time. But I could still make a good one now and then. Don't try to fool big people now, man. But you still could make good one now and again. <laughs> you mean one per year? <laughs> <laughs> you see me and I go down, that's all, eh? Oh, Lord. Anyway, tiny birthdays next week. She's going to be 70. Tiny 70? Till now. So she said. I feel she bought people lost. Tiny should be nearly 90 now. You sure not just what we're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway. We're planning a party for she. Oh, who's we? Roll and Calvin, Glenda, me, and Gillian. Who is the Gillian? Roll and Theresa daughter, the one that come back from America with certificate and degree and thing. Well, Bell and Theresa, they come back here. Eh? So what are they coming back here for? They're making good American money, you know. So what Jillian are coming back for? To see she family place. You know, to be real nice. But I don't feel she will stay though. So Josh, what you really planning for the party? I'm trying to see if I get two tattoo and some turtle meat. Turtle meat? Boy, they're gonna lock up your tail if they catch you turtle meat. They're catch me first. Glim, before they catch he, let's take a drink on time. You have one in a glass already? You have a drink there? Not now. Is that enough? Tiny. May she live to see many, many more. Ah. Tiny? Oh, Glenda? Girl, I have this Hannah map away for you. So I said, let me bring it for you early this morning. Thank you, Glenda. And you know how I like my provision. Tiny? Tiny? You know, plenty of them young girls have plenty things they could still learn from you. <laughs> you have skills you could sell. <laughs> from men in royal pan to now Calvin on. <laughs> Glenda, he just as worthless as royal, only worse. <laughs> 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 oh, you're not easy, you know, Heidi. <laughs> Listen, what you expect if it's just your own? He so he said. You mean? Me no no girl. The mama just dropped the picnic in a basket 20 something years ago. She says Joshua won. 
Says she'll go to America, she don't have nobody for left him weed. She just brush her tail, get up, walk away, and never look back. And you still think it's not just Shaul? You could be sure who is picking daddy these days. And he almost a Joshua one for truth, a licorice and worthless just like a the Joshua. And he now look for work and expect me for feed the tail three and four times a day, sometimes five. But he nice. Plenty of them young girl like you here. <laughs> if a Joshua pick the for truth, he better treasure the young <laughs> here. Because just now, he go get ball head. <laughs> 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 morning, Ma. Morning, Miss Glenda. Good morning, Calvin. You're here really looking nice this morning. You think so? I really think so. I hope you leave back two of them fry bake for your father. Man, he got get something on the bay, some fish boat or something. You see what I tell you? Licorice. Where you going? In town. I'm going to look for a walk. But he does try tiny. Try? That is what he does say every day when he going on gamble. I wonder who that this hour. Hello? Hello, Auntie Tiny. Who that? It's me, your niece Avril. Oh, Avril. You sound like somebody in England. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> anyway, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Well, I just called to tell you that I got the tickets for me and Lara to come to Tobago on Friday. You coming to Tobago? You think I would miss that big party? What party? What party? Okay, let's forget about that. Oh, are you planning a party for me about there? I didn't say that. All right then. I go act like it's a big surprise. Who else coming? Listen, I think I've said too much already. I will see you on Friday and tell Uncle Joshua I said hi. Okay? All right. Look how your face light up like a Christmas tree. Yes, what? What? They're planning a big birthday party for me. Who tell you that? You know about it, Glenda. I do do nothing. Yes, Glenda. You know about it. But it's good to know my family and my friends do forget me in my old age. Who old you? <laughs> age is just a number. Morning. You think you'll have practice today with all this rain? Yeah, but I'll get a ride to one of the girls or I'll catch a maxi. I got the tickets for us to go to Tobago on Friday. Do I really have to go? Yes, you really have to go. I don't even know her. I'm sure she doesn't even remember what I look like. She's my aunt and she was very good to me when I was growing up. And of course, it's a good time for the family to meet. If it's so important, then you go. I don't see why I have to. You're going because I say you are and it's not a matter for debate. So if it's so important, how come daddy isn't going? He has to work. But the party is Saturday. He still has to work. Hurry up, Lara. You don't want to be late for school. I'm not hungry. You're not leaving this house without something in your stomach. Bigger bites, Lara. But you always tell me to take small ladylike bites. Not this morning. I'm going to make some bush tea, you want some? If you could put some condensed milk in it. I don't keep condensed milk in the house again, you know, since I'm so fine with the sugar. Well, some of the regular milk will do. All right. Well, you so over popular this morning. It looks so. Mm. Who that? Hello, Grandma. Jillian? 
That's right. Just go let's see how you're doing. A good, a good. You get any medication? I get some pills yesterday. Which one? Some little white ones. I feel I got to take some of them this time. Ma, you know you're supposed to take those every day. I know. How are you doing? Hmm, busy. When are you going to introduce me to your boyfriend? You, all people know I don't have time for that. You have to make time for yourself, girl. I tell you a million times I want to see me great grand before me I close. You're a long, long way from dying, Grandma. When last you talked to your mother and your father? A couple nights ago, you know. They're doing great. I was to call them, but the phone bill does be so high. Mm -mm, stop right there. I told you whenever you want to talk to them, call. I will pay the bills. <sighs> Grand, I'm getting a call coming through here that I have to take. I'm going to pass by tonight or tomorrow night, okay? Don't forget about my great Grand. Grand, go drink some bush tea. How oh, you know I fix it, bush tea? I know the time you take it. Love you. Good day, Julian White. 